What's up guys? So I've been a little late on getting some updates. Um, so a few things have happened since last time I've talked to you. Um, I have been tearing into the Ford's interior. Um, I got the, the dash out and the rest of the plastics. I pulled the headliner out. Um, check it out, so hot. Uh, this was a bit of a pain in the butt, but it wasn't too bad. I didn't want to take the whole um, dash out because I didn't want to unplug everything out of there. So I just took the plastic skin off and I had to be really careful not to crack it and bust it because this is a 2000 and that dash has seen better years, but I got it cleaned up. Um, I'm actually going to clean this up because it's so dusty. Um, I did uh, kind of set one of the seats in there. Some dirt on there. Uh, just to get an idea um, and start to put it in. As you can see, the headliner is out. Um, and so let me show you what we got going on. So here's the headliner. I pulled it out and I had picked up some new black fabric uh, at Joanne Michaels. Is it? No, not Joanne Michaels, you idiot. It's Joanne Fabrics. Um, I went there to get some fabric. I measured the length and I thought, and I forgot to measure the width. So I'm thinking, ah, 44 inches is probably plenty wide for what I needed for it. Um, I get it back, I get two yards. It was only like 15 bucks. It was Labor Day weekend, they actually had a deal. Um, so I picked that up in the glue and I go to lay the fabric out and it's not wide enough. I'm like short by like six, eight inches. So I got new fabric coming. Uh, it's actually better looking than that just plain Jane copper. It's actually like a, anyways, I'll show it to you when you get here. So we'll be getting that uh, done. I am probably gonna do the Starlight headliner on it. Um, and I'm kind of at a standstill with the truck. I'm gonna probably put the dash in it. Oh yeah, by the way, check this out. So I got the dash and the pieces done. Actually turned out really good. There was some little bit of like gunk on the top here. I got it degreased, sanded down and I got it all coated and I think it looks 10 times better. Uh, as you can see, there's the other plastics. I still got, I need to find me some visors. I don't, I don't, I don't like spray painting like carpet fabric. So I just think that's a cheap junky way of doing it. So I'm gonna actually see if I can't find some like gray ones or I might just take and have those wrapped and sewed up and covered in black. Um, don't mind my garage, it's an absolute nightmare. Uh, the grill is painted. I gotta do some touching up and we're gonna get the grill on. Um, so we're moving along and I today actually, uh, I'm kinda taking a break and I'm really trying to work on my Dodge. So it's very neglected and there's some things that are really bugging me and I have parts piled up for this thing in the garage and I decided, well, you know what? I'm kinda, I'm off. For the rest of the week um so i thought uh, why don't i tackle some of this so the dodge um these fenders are beat from where before i had airbags on it uh, and i had 37s it just tore these up so i'm actually going to try to fix these fenders and clean those up but as you can see i got the fender liners out uh because they were cracked and kind of busted and i ordered just some ching chong ones um and these are the old ones, as you can see. I mean, they're just kind of, I mean, look, they got, this is, it just looks like crap. And it's, I mean, look, it just looks like garbage. So I picked up these Ching Chong ones, already trimmed them up. Um, and I've already started sanding them and got my holes um, set up for where my uh, lights are gonna end up being. Um, I actually need to go uptown and pick up some more primer. And I'm gonna lay some primer on that. The other one's back here. So I'm gonna to try to get those painted and in there. And then also, as you can see, I have a shave tailgate that I am going, that I shaved and relocating the handle to the inside. And I'm planning on trying to get that painted. Also, I got um, these rear inner fender liners. Um, I need to wet sand these and these need more prep work. They uh, I just kind of laid some primer on there to make sure that paint was gonna stick because I hit it because I've had I painted these once and I didn't use the flex paint. Um, and so they kind of flaked on me real bad. And I have rushed it, honestly, I rushed. I was just anxious to get them in there. And I painted them and I ended up wasting more of my time because I had to go pressure wash them and strip them down, re-sand them. 
and actually take the time that I needed to and prep them. So we're gonna, I'm planning on in the next, tonight I'm planning on having these painted and hopefully get the, the rock lights wired up. Um, so I can get that. There's a few things I need to ch touch up on the Dodge. I actually need to do an alignment on the front and um, what else? I need to get the shocks off. I want to get the shocks polished and put on. There is a car show uptown that I'm going to try to take my truck to. I hadn't taken this truck to anything, but it's my local one. And I just, I decided it'd be fun to go. So I haven't taken the truck to any shows. It's not really like a show truck. It's just a play truck really. So we're going to do that. Um, so I'm trying to get those things tidied up. It needs, I need to detail the inside. It's not horrible, but I do need to sweep it out, clean it up. I got paint chips on the truck that probably need to go through and touch it up but um the truck as you can see i got a wire hanging down i need to i need to tie that up and you can see the bug guts that are all over the front end and i'm having an issue where my dual stabilizer shocks here this this type the the link bar here I've tightened those bolts up on the hem, Himes, I don't know how many times, but it, it keeps wanting to pull and drop, and it's it's actually messing with my steering and suspension. So I'm, I need to tighten up the, the brackets. They keep coming loose. I need to tighten those all up, and then I need to go and do my hillbilly version of doing alignment where you measure the front and the back, center to center of the wheel, um, and try to get that done. Um, and then as you can see, I don't, the thinner liner is going to go in the back here and it's going to cover this all up. I've seen a few guys do it. It looks really good. What in the world is on my truck? Oh, well, we'll clean that. Um, so we're going to get that and that'll look good. Um, let's see how that goes. And then the interior, I still need to hook up because right now I got a Schrader valve on here and you guys are going to laugh at me, but I got the air ride system um, in here that I've been working on, and uh, I got some stuff done to it. I need to, I got the solenoids and everything in the box, the airline. Um, here's the air tank. It's dirty. I, this, I hydro dipped it. Um, this is the air box that's going to go up underneath the backside. Um, that's one of the air compressors I have too. I just got to wire up all the solenoids and then get that up. I'm hoping to get that up this week. I got a bunch of stuff in the box laying over there for it. Um, so that's that. Uh, what I am going to do today is I am going to get these fender liners prepped. I'm going to get them sanded and I'll do some painting and we're going to get those put into the truck. Um, and uh, what I'm probably, what I really want to do, I'm real antsy about it is I really want to like get this dash in the fort because I feel like that's going to be bee's knees when I get that in there. Um, and then I can clean the carpet, get it all swept up. Um, so yeah. And then I need to notch the frame up in the front so I can get the grill on. There's just a lot of things. Also, oh yeah, while well, I'm thinking about it, the fender liners um, on the front of the Dodge, I am going to um, paint white as well. And here's the other thing. So this truck's old and she needs some maintenance. And as you can see, I kind of got a leak here. And I believe this is why the brake fluid and the brake light was on um, because I replaced the brake, the calipers and rotors. And uh, I put new rotors and calipers on it because there was a seized caliper on the front and the brake light was on. Um, and then when I went to go change them, I noticed that the brake fluid was low. So I know when the brake fluid gets low, that's when your, your light will kick on. And I'm like, oh, great. So I'm hoping I didn't have like a, a, a brake line or something that was cracked or busted. Because I absolutely, there's honestly, I, I hate dealing with brake lines. I've done so many. Back in the day when I did Hondas, I did brake line, what's called a brake line tuck. And you relocate your portion valve and doing your double flares and all that. Oh my God, it took forever. And it was... I just hate doing it. So luckily, get to the point. So the point was, is after I filled that up with fluid and I got it all, the brake calipers and everything bled and, and everything on, I noticed that that power steering line is leaking. And I believe, and that's tied into the master cylinder. So that is why the, um, it probably lost fluid. 
So I gotta get a brake line and then I'm gonna clean that all up. We're gonna detail that. And so the poor Ford, she's sick. Um, she's real sick. And I pulled the, I was, man, I was dreading it so bad because I already knew. But when we pulled her, we pulled her, we poured the poor baby's fender flares off and she's been diagnosed with cancer. So this is what I got going on. So we are going to get a new bed for her. I'm gonna put a 2016 bed on it. I'm gonna get this thing ripped off. They're about two grand. I don't know why Fords are so expensive, but I need a long bed. I'm gonna get a white one that's Oxford white. And we're just, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna do the body work on this. It's already had body work done once and whoever did it didn't do a good job. Um, it was like, I mean, look at this. I mean, it's just garbage, poor thing. So I'm gonna strip this bed off soon um, and we're gonna get a new bed on it. Uh, other thing. I got the tail lights almost done. I got to do the ring. I got to tape it off, paint, but I was anxious. I wanted to get them bolted on. They're not screwed on. That's why they're shaking. Um, so I got these done and I got the newer rear bumper paint matched and I got it bolted on. I got to get the sensors and stuff and the rear camera and all that. I'm going to get that for it and get that plugged in. The tailgate's a little beat, but I think we can fix that. It just needs some body work. I really would like to have like the platinum or the newer Super Duty tailgate, but they're like freaking $800. I don't want the one with the stupid ladder on it. I just like the silver platinum Super Duty one with the silver trim in the center. So I'll see if I can pick one up, but I am going to be picking up a bed. I got a line on the couple of them um, and I'm going to go check them out here in the next week or so. Um, I'm in the process. I just changed jobs. So like this week, I'm kind of off before I start my new job. Um, so pretty excited about that. So in the meantime, I was taking this time as an advantage to just get some things knocked out. So doing a lot of talking to get to the point. Um, so I'll roll some feed of me kind of test fitting the dash and getting a look at it and putting that on and hopefully get some video of me putting sanding and painting the fender liners and getting those put in and wiring up the lights and get you guys shot for that. So let's go. with Bob between two ferns and my buddy Bill here Billy Bob he's missing the rest of his body but he's a little pale today but anyways let's get on with the program shall we so I have painted there's some black specks on here from where I just drilled this out so I got the inner fender liners painted and cleared I have some little light spots, but I don't worry about it. They're fender liners. Uh, so I got these paint mat, a paint match PW7 bright right, and cleared them. And I have started to put in my LED lights. So I went a little different route. I'm not a big fan of the big, big, bulky ass rock lights. So I found these. I wanted something slim, uh, slimmer, a little cleaner looking. So I got on the old Ega. And I found me that uh, old Ching Chong Wong Wong over in uh, China made these little um, Ching Wong LED lights. I don't know how long they're gonna last, but we'll, we'll give them a go just because I thought they look clean. So it has like a rubber grommet. Uh, so I drilled holes and I shoved them in. I'm gonna do three, we're gonna see how good it is. And then on the back side, I just pulled these out. Um, and you have these pigtails. I uh, already have one already wired. So I'll show you what that looks like. So to make it easier to take it on and off the, whoa, hold on Billy. So uh, to make it easier, if I ever needed to service the truck or if I needed to take these fender liners off, um, I didn't want to have these hardwired directly into the wiring on the truck. 
So I bought these um, connectors off eBay. You can buy them. There's the male, female, and black, white for ground positive. And uh, I wired them all up to this one uh, plug, so I'll be able to plug this into the main feed. And then if I ever need to take it off, just unplug it, and I can just walk walk away with it. Um, what I am using is these little nifty. Uh, I really like these. So what is it? What these connectors do? Instead of just your uh, eighteen-year-old high school way, is to just twist them together and put electrical wiring, uh, electrical tape on it. That's a no-no. Don't do that. Okay, that's gonna it's gonna cause some some issues. Okay. That's the cheap hillbilly way. You do not want to do that. So what we have here is these little guys and it has a solder in the center there and this is like a heat shrink tube. So what I do is I slide the two, slide the two wires in. I'm not going to do this on this one. I'm just going to use that as an example what we do here. What we do. So you got the red positive and you slide you would want to strip this back obviously like this actually we'll just pull this off and you want to slide this in right where it's coming in you want to get the wire right in the the silver solder there and then what you do is you take the other end slide it in there and uh, you can use a heat gun or a lighter I just take a lighter and what you'll do is you'll just heat that up don't torch it, just kind of hold it flame back. Probably won't wear a glove so it doesn't heat up your fingers and burn you. But you just want to heat that up and you'll see this plastic, just like a regular heat shrink, it'll shrink up and the center will melt, the solder will melt and it'll hold those, uh, it'll solder those two connections together. So you're, you're sealing and, and um, connecting all in one. So I really like these, I got, I got a whole box of these on eBay for a couple bucks. Um, and so that's what we're going to do, okay? Okay, Bill? Okay, Bill? So, um, that's that. I'm going to work on getting the rest. See, I got the front two almost done, fender liners. Uh, we'll get those. I got to do the rears. I got the rears done as well. <laughs> um, so we're going to get these. Um, on the truck. I know some of you are already going to ask, and I've already been asked this on Instagram. What fender liners you get? Where'd you get them things, man? So, I got these. So, here's the thing. I could not find the third gen. You can find them, but every time I go to order them, they'd have the right, the passenger side in, but they wouldn't have the driver's side in. You probably can get lucky and get them in stock, but what I end up doing is I end up getting some, um, Tad newer fortune, and I just had to trim them up around the edges here. Uh, it actually is the same wheel well. It's just it's a there the fortune's a little wider at the bottom. It's more you know fortunes. It's a little bit squared up, whereas the third gen kind of curves into the wheel well a little bit. So I just had to trim those up. I've already test fitted them. Um, they're gonna work great. And then I can put the fasteners on the lip, put the two screws in, and then I'll have those wired up. I'm gonna do the same connection. I'm actually gonna run the wiring down along on the inside of the frame and put it in with the wiring loom of the other wiring and brake lines and stuff that's on the inside of the frame rail. So I'm gonna run that up, tuck it all in there, and then have that connector um, plug it into these three lights as well. Um, so, Bill, let's show them what we got going on here. So what we go, I started to um, cleaning up the fender well because these was beat up from my wheels. So I sanded them down and uh, just clean them up a little bit so I could paint them so it looks clean with the rest. Um, I've also today, I have uh, did a slight alignment on the front. Uh, so my steering wheel isn't going down the road and the top isn't up and down and it looks retarded. So we got alignment. I got the steering wheel all lined up 
and we should be good to go on that. I'm hoping to have um, this all in tonight. Um, and that's that. I'm trying to think of what else I'm planning on doing. Oh, I gotta get the shocks off and we're gonna get those polished. I'll probably have those in this um, um, video as well. Me and Bill's gonna take care of that. Headless Bill, or bodyless Bill. And uh, we're gonna put our ferns away. Yeah, and then we're gonna get to work, so. Alright guys, so this took way longer than I had thought um, putting all these lights in and getting these uh, wheel wells done. Um, it is actually dusk as you can see and we're just finishing up. Um, I did some other stuff uh, as far as touching up some um, the doors and fixing some rock chips. The doors really probably need repainted but I did some touching up today. It was just some quick stuff. Uh, like I said, there's a car show this way again, so I'm trying to get the truck looking halfway decent. It's not nothing big. It's just a local one that I wanted to go to. And I just wanted to take some pride and make it look halfway decent before I go. Um, so, as you can see, this is her. Um, I got the all the lights in. I also put a uh, rock, couple rock lights up underneath there to kind of shine down. It's still light out, so it's not as bright as I like. Um, got the wheel wells in. Uh, don't pay attention to the missing lug nut. We're gonna roll pipe right past that. Um, so yeah, and this tailgate, um, I didn't get done what I wanted to get done today. So that's gonna be tomorrow. I'm planning on finishing up the tailgate. I got the backside cut in and painted. Uh, tomorrow I'm planning on getting the rest of it painted. And on the exterior part, I had to pick up some paint from my uh, relative at his body shop today. So I went and got that done, but getting all this wired up and put in and fix all those rock chips uh, really took longer than I expected today. <sighs> so that's that. Uh, 
I don't have the shocks done yet. Uh, I, I do need to get those polished. I probably look, look at this. I look like a freaking, I don't know what. What is this? This brother over there laughing at me. What you laughing at, boy? But, um, yeah, as you can see, I got the shocks out. Um, they're up there in the garage. I plan on getting those polished um, tomorrow and try to get the tailgate painted. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it all done. I'm probably biting off more than I can chew, but we'll get it done. Anyways, uh, I know I already had some people asking about the, um, and I kind of vaguely mentioned it on the rear liners. So these are Fortune uh, rear liners. Um, I will have the link below uh, in the description where you can buy these. Um, oh gosh, I gotta tuck that wire, it's hanging down. Um, but overall, I mean, I had to trim them, you know. I had to trim them around the edge and test fit them. Um, and then I got them in there. I gotta go fix all these rock chips. These freaking wheels beat up, beat them up. And I got the light up underneath there now shining down on the rear axle. So, oh man, I didn't get the back window wiped off. Good, it's filthy. And then, um, I had this thing cleaned up and then Toucan Sam decided he wanted to take a turd dump on my freaking window. So, so much for that. So anyways, I didn't do a full detail anyways. I just did a quick wash on it uh, before I'll probably video it up. Uh, I might do a little, little video on a detail job. I mean, it takes like four hours to get through a full detail. Oh yeah, here, um, here's the headliner on. At, at night it, you can kind of see it and there's the the dash on so we'll get it all cleaned up so that's that for now tomorrow um, I plan on having like I said the tailgate and the shocks polished I'll probably video that too but anyways I'm tired I'm wore out I'm ready to call it quits for the day. I see ya.